number seven on the unit one foundation paper, the practice paper one. There's four practice papers, it's just the first one. We told lots of information about a football team, about two fifths of their matches and drew seven twentieths of their matches and they lost ten matches. Okay, so the first idea is to work out how many they won, lost, and draw. So if I just put one, drew, and lost here. Well, we know that they lost two-fifths, but we don't know what the total is, so we can't work out how many games yet. Okay. Now, the drawing, we know that they drew seven twentieths with the same problem. If we knew how many what the total is, we could work out seven. So we don't know how many games they drew. What we do know is that we don't know the fraction, but we do know that they lost ten games. So if we could work out this fraction here, we could then uh, work out what the total games were, and we could work backwards and do this. Well, to do that, we need to add these two fractions up, actually. We need to work out these two fractions. Um, so we need to do 2 fifths plus 7 twentieths, and we'll work out how much that is. And then with the, the bit that's missing to make a whole is going to be how many games they lost. Well, to add these fractions up, we need the bottom numbers, the denominators, to be the same. Now, actually, we can get them both to be 20. 5 goes into 20. So if we turn both the bottom fractions into 20, well, this second fraction we haven't had to change. It already is out of 20. However, this first one, we've had to multiply the bottom, the denominator of that fraction, by 4. So in order to keep the fraction the same without changing its value, make it equivalent, we need to times the top by 4. So that's 8 out of 20, which tells me that's 15 twentieths, which actually cancels down nicely for us, um, which actually take, cancels down to 3 quarters. Okay? So we know that this team didn't lose three quarters because that's what the win draw comes to. So it means they must have lost a quarter of their games. So if you manage to calculate that, I reckon that, that you'd get two marks for doing that calculation there. One mark for working out it's a quarter. And then you've got you can work out that the total games, if they lost a quarter of their games, and it must be a quarter because they won and drew at three quarters, so they lost a quarter is ten games, the total games must be 40. That's important. So, if they won 40 games, okay, if they won 40 games, that means that, well, divided by 20 gives us 2, must mean that they drew 14 games and divide 40 by 5 which gives us 8 and then times it by 2 gives us 16 games so it tells us that actually that they had 16, 14 and 10 which is their 40 games which is what we wanted um, that would be another point okay that would be another mark then the last thing we've got to do is work out how many points they got. Now they get th three points for a win, so that gives them 48 points for that. They get one point for a draw, which gives them 14 points, and they get zero points for a loss. So the total number of points they get is 40, 50, 58, 62 points is their total tally for the season. Now this is quite a complicated question and we're going to do quite a lot and we're going to work forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards all the way through it. So just have a pause, maybe pause it or rewind it and have a watch again maybe two or three times until you understand exactly what I've done and whether you could do it yourself. Okay?